County Fairgrounds USA, countyfairgrounds.net. Welcome to today's podcast. Hi, I'm China. This is Cool K from countyfairgrounds.net. And I guess you're going to talk to us today about the El Paso County Fair that's coming up. I am. Okay, so let's have the dates first and then give me a little bit of the history. Okay. The El Paso County Fair runs uh, Saturday, July 16th through Saturday, July 23rd. Okay. It's, so we've been doing this for a while. We started in 1905 as just a local um, gathering for a, as a potato festival and has grown over the years um, into the county fair that we have today. So which county is it covering? It's El Paso County? It's El Paso County, yep, which okay. is, you know, Colorado Springs, um, uh, Falcon, Peyton, Callahan, Ellicott, Fountain, Widefield. Okay. okay. Monument. That's, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. So what's old and what's new this year and what's not to be missed? All right. Well, old. So we started out as a potato festival. And so to continue with that theme and the just kind of sticking with the history, we're doing a potato giveaway in our community garden on the first day. And we've got some regular nods to traditions around here, our creative arts. Um, of course, all of our 4-H events, um, some no, new, some have been around for a long time. But the Apostle County Fair, um, of course, the 4-H events and all the competitions and show, showing in that will be a highlight. But our theme this year is the Adventure Begins Here theme. We've got some great, fun, um, adventure-themed activities and um Entertainment plans. We've got the Cool Zoo coming out um, instead of a traditional petting zoo. We've gone with the Cool Zoo. They're going to have a kangaroo and a lemur and crabs and giant snakes and just some of those animals you don't always get to see at your average county fair. Um, next to them, we'll have our Nervous Knox entertainers. Those are they've been featured on um, on television productions and they do some great stunt uh, activities. So we'll have some motorcycles and some sway poles and just some really fun and exciting entertainment for that. And then, um, let's see, our other major entertainment is our Puppy Pals show, also having been featured on TV. Lots of fun, family fun, dog tricks and comedy and entertainment. Those, All three of those will run daily. Um, Nervous Knox will have three show times a day. Uh, Puppy Pals for a day and Cool Zoo will be open from 10 to 4 every day. In addition to that, we have our regular um, evening entertainment starting on opening day, Saturday, July 16th. We have bull riding um, in the evening. That is a separate ticketed event. Um, on Sunday, we have free with admission barrel racing and... Um, Oh, barrel racing and oh, our ranch rodeo. So that's just a fun, um, open to everybody, included with fair admission time. Uh, our other major entertainment includes Thursday night truck and tractor pull, Friday night auto races, and Saturday uh, the 23rd, the demo derby, which is one of our largest events. That event almost always sells out. Um, our major events on both Saturdays and Thursday and Friday are all followed by concerts. So we've got Curtis Grimes out here for opening night. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have local bands, Sofa Killers, Ashley and the Longshot Revival, um, and Exit West. So we're super excited. Um, our local bands have been with us before. We're excited to have them back. They're always crowd favorites. And then, of course, we have our carnival and our vendors and so much food. So there will be no shortage of excitement and adventure to be found at this year's fair. Okay, let's talk about parking. That's always a concern. So where's yes. your parking at and what kind of uh, accommodations do you have for seniors and handicapped people? Yes, yeah, so our main parking lot is at the south entrance, which is off of Calhan Highway. Um, that's where all the signs will point people to. Uh, it is a dirt lot. It is open. There's additional parking right across the highway in the dirt lot next to the fairgrounds. Also signage all over the place. But to come in on Highway 24, go straight down Callan Highway, will take you to the two largest parking lots. Our third parking lot is right off of 10th Street. It's located next to the high school. That is our ADA lot. So for senior citizens that have um, handicapped accessibility plates um, and also, of course, people that are um, 
you know, have access accessibility um, challenges are welcome to park there. That is an ADA only lot. Everything from there is paved at all of our gates. We also offer shuttle service. So as people park and come up to the entrance, they can wait in a waiting area if they need help getting throughout the fairgrounds, getting to somewhere specifically. We have um, one of our board members runs our cart, our courtesy cart for people that need help accessing all the different areas of the grounds. Okay, so suppose I was coming in there with a bunch of kids under the age of 12. What would you suggest I do first? Um, well, it depends on time of day. Our carnival on the weekends are open all day. On weekdays, the carnival is in the afternoons into the evening hours. Um, obviously, carnivals are always a favorite for the kids. But this year, one of our exciting new things, which I did forget to mention earlier, is our fair zone. So one of the things we really wanted to provide was for families the opportunity to have some fun with their kids that didn't um, – come with an extra charge. And so right in the middle of our fairgrounds, we're setting up the fair zone. There will be an activity tent for um, activities for kids under or 12 and under probably um, that can go in and play games and have some challenges and do take some photo ops. We're going to have a jumping pillow um, that they can jump around on. We'll have some steer roping and some little competitions. And so we'll have just a fun, engaging area for kids that is no additional charge, included in fair admission, to come in, win some prizes, learn a few things, um, and just have a good time. So that is definitely somewhere I would stop. We will. Um, the Cool Zoo is going to have a fantastic draw, especially for those animals that we all don't get to see in our everyday lives. Um, and then, of course, our shows. So we'll have some great shows scheduled throughout the day, um, both on the 4-H side where you can go check out cattle and pigs and sheep and all that. We welcome people into our barns to look at those animals. Um, and then, of course, like our Puppy Pals show. Um, we also will have a kids' cornhole tournament on Wednesday night. Uh, that's new, and I'm so sorry, Thursday during the day is our Kids Cornhole Tournament, and our Amazing Kids Talent Contest is Wednesday night. So we have sign-ups for those available online ahead of time, or they can sign up on the same day. Okay, now let me ask you about the seniors. Where, where should they go when they come in the gate? All right, our seniors, um, same entertainment values except maybe the jumping pillow, but obviously we've <laughs> got shopping, we've got 4-H shows, we've got all the entertainment, but our best day for seniors here at the fairgrounds is going to be on Tuesday, Juniors, Tuesday is senior day here at the fairgrounds. And so they'll be able to come in um, and go straight to Swink Hall um, and using the courtesy cart to get there if needed. And we'll offer free breakfast for our seniors followed, um, that starts at 9, followed by uh, pie provided by the Lions Club um, at noon. And then we're going to do an afternoon session of bingo. So we will have a fun day in addition to all our normal programming, some extra special things to add in for seniors that day. Okay, what about restroom accessibility, especially for handicapped people? Yes. Um, so all of our buildings have restrooms. Um, let me make sure I say this correctly. Yep, all of our buildings have restrooms that are accessible. Um, the most, uh, the, I don't know, the most easily accessible are the restrooms in the grandstands building. Both the north end and the south end have accessible restrooms. But all of our buildings have restrooms that are accessible. Okay. And I would imagine that you have a lot of food concessionaires on the grounds too, right? We do. There will be no shortage of delicious things to eat and drink while out here at the fair. Okay. All right. Then I always, every time I do an interview, I, I ask this question. I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit and ask you what your favorite fair food is. Oh, see, none of my vendors were a bell. <laughs> um, I, so in the, in the snack food items, we've had, um, a nut vendor out here, totally nuts, that's, that's done the roasted, you know, roasted almonds, roasted pecans, all that. I do have to admit that's one of my favorites, um, mm. for just a snack. And, um, they're very, they're very good. And I believe they won our award for best non frozen dessert last year. Um, and then um, I don't know that I can make a choice on the um, on the savory food vendors. There's a lot. We've got chicken to soul food to uh, time to dine, which is kind of a variety. Um, you know, we've got Paradise Cafe, which is one of our big supporters. They also provide food for a lot of our events. So there's there's a lot happening around here. I don't know that I could pick one. So. 
I know this is a very busy fairgrounds most of the year. What, do you know what? Have any idea what's coming up after this fair? Yeah, so we'll have. Um, oh, I don't have that calendar in front of me at the moment. I'm all focused on fair, but I do know that on August 20th, we've got um, our flea market and um, health education fair both happening on the same day. We had to reschedule our flea market originally scheduled for May because we got that surprise snow. Um, So (laughs) we have um, uh, Saturday, August 20th, we will have in Swink Hall the Health and Education Fair, which will be a variety of vendors to be present to just help people um, know what resources are available in our community, what kind of support is available, um, and also, you know, products and availability of things in the health world. Um, And then outside of that, we'll have a flea market. And we're going to do a truly like old-fashioned flea market. We'll have some commercial vendors. We'll have some food vendors. But we're really opening it up to our community. We want people to be able to bring out their items, their collectibles, the things they don't need anymore, um, and have a good old-fashioned day at the flea market. We've got super inexpensive pricing for youth. We're really encouraging youth that want to maybe, maybe they're done with one season of their toys and they want to move on something else good opportunity to sell their things and and just experience you know what what that looks like and we just um we're super excited about that event we've got um our auto races continuing to uh two saturdays every month um through september um we have got a variety of uh 4-h shows and um actually more 4-h events and um I'm trying to think. We've got some dog shows happening out here. Most of the stuff will be on our calendar once we get it all updated with FAIR. Um, And then in the fall, we'll look forward to, we will hold some sort of a harvest festival um, around the October um, time frame. That hasn't been narrowed down yet, but it'll be somewhere around that Halloween weekend. And then every year, in conjunction with Callahan um, City of Lights Parade, we do a holiday market. So we will do a Christmas market out here. Oh, December, I think it's the 11th, that's that Saturday, um, in conjunction with the Callahan City of Lights Parade, which is a big deal here, we get a pretty nice parade put together, and we will hold an all-day um, Christmas market out here with you know, a visit by Santa and some activities for kids and all that, that good stuff. It'll be a great place to finish your Christmas shopping. Okay, well, it sounds like you're all wound up about this fair thing. The countdown on the board's been there. We're five days to fair now, so here we're ready. Thank you very much for the interview. Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.